we're just getting started here with uh, your left shoulder cold. I'm here with Dr. Moore mixing the rest of the shoulder chain. We examined your shoulder before we started and there was quite a bit of instability so we know we're gonna have to do that work that we've already talked about. What we're looking at here is these two cannulas coming through a part of the shoulder that we call the rotator interval. There's a gray plastic one on the left and this, this is actually a camera where we're gonna be placing our camera in just a minute. To the right of that is your biceps tendon. As we look down here, see a little bit of peel back, but really not too bad. So I don't think you, you technically have what we call a slap lesion, although it looks like it wanted to. Um, I think that, that amount of uh, injury, it's just a millimeter really, that'll be okay. As we look up at the rotator cuff, we, we thought that was okay based on your preoperative studies and we can confirm that now, where this part of the rotator cuff looks just fine. We're gonna swivel around we're going to swivel around and look at the back of the shoulder. So here's the posterior labrum, posterior capsule, posterior humeral head. Now, of course, it's only been about three weeks since your dislocation. And as we pull back a little bit, we can get a sense of how, how this hill sex is situated in the humeral head right there. So we classify that as a medium-sized hill sex. It's not very deep but we can certainly see where the discoloration is in the humeral head. Okay, that's a good picture of that. The rest of the articular surfaces actually look pretty good. So we're going to look down the front of the shoulder now and have a look at this area as well. And that's, this is where there's been some damage. That'll be easier to see once we put the camera in the front. The main decision we have to make now is what we're going to do in the back of the shoulder What I'm seeing there, I don't think, I do not think we're going to have to do a, what we call a rim massage. Can you probe, please? You haven't lost any bone from the glenoid that I can really appreciate. We'll look here and we'll measure this again from the back, but. Okay, so we're going to go off on the video. As we look from the front to the back now, we can again see this area in the humeral head that we call the hill sax lesion right about here. I don't see anything else loose as far as cartilage. I'm just cleaning this off a little bit just to make sure that there's not some loose flap or something else like that that we'd want to know. And also to assess the depth. And that's pretty much it. Okay, and so what we're going to do now is, as we examine a single loaded why not back here, as we examine the uh, labrum back here, we can see that there's a little split in the labrum, and when we have that, I feel much more comfortable placing a suture anchor in because we don't want our sutures to pull apart the labrum. So we're going to try and place an anchor down. Right about here, possibly. Okay, here you can see our guide, and then we have a little wire drill that we've already used, and now we're just placing the anchor. As we back out, you can see how small that implant is right next to the labrum. One of the keys here is you've got to pull back to seat it, just like that, and now it's very, very stable. So we're going to, I don't think we need to roughen up the capsule here because it's already so injected and inflamed. I think that'll heal like gangbusters once we get our suture in. We will... Um, Pull back just a shade and see if we can see this anterior cannula, which is way superior here. There we go. Um, thanks. We're going to reach in and just pass one of the sutures to the front, like that. And um, you can see how we use two hands to just basically hand it off to ourselves. Much like that, only better. There we go. So we will pull tight on it, Mitchell. Thank you. Okay, so that's what we want to do there. And now we'll take our suture hook, our turn to the left, turn to the right, I'm sorry, suture hook. Here you can see our hook. It's loaded with a black wire that I'll show you here. There you see it coming out of the tip of the hook. That's called the super shuttle. We're going to pull it back. And now in order to do the stitch, we 
just roll our wrist back. And we're going to go into the capsule right about here. Now the next step is to go down, and you can see how we are really going right through that labrum as well. And you can see why I wanted to use the anchor, because that labrum is not completely intact there, it's torn on the edge. So now the next step is just to um, retrieve the, uh, the super shuttle. Get it right over here. There it is. There. Okay. So outside your shoulder, we will load that. And then as we slowly pull back, you can watch and see what happens. See how it brings that suture underneath and out the back. around. So the next step is to go ahead and tie that. Let me just turn to the left next. So we'll finish this knot and show you in a minute. Yeah, go for it. Okay, so we're going to switch our cannulas now because I think the most, or the rest of our work is going to be primarily in the front of the shoulder. You can see that suture that we tied in the back here. Right back here, that looks good. And that's going to hold this part together. And so we're going to back out the yellow cannula in the back and we're going to leave the camera actually in the same place. We'll go off on the video for just a minute, possibly. Okay, so we're using this instrument to help free up some of the soft tissues. Yeah. Hopefully that'll not be too difficult to do because this didn't happen too long ago. There already, I can feel it loosening up a little bit. So here, through the magic of Hollywood, we're able to show you now, we've got that anchor down. Now it's seated, very solid. You can see some of the damage along the front edge of the socket. But first we're gonna go ahead and take out some sutures here. Take these blue and white ones out of the way. Slide these out. We'll take those out over a switching stick in the back.
And next we'll take we'll turn the bolt. Yeah, okay, no mind. Um, we'll take out the inferior stitch here. And now we're ready to make our pass. So we'll take a turn to the left suture hook. This will come through the yellow cannula on the right side of the screen right here. And I'm gonna try and get way down here now. Okay, so we've got three implants and four sutures holding this all together. We're going to have a look from the back just to make sure there's nothing else we need to do in the anterior superior region. Usually there's not, but we want to confirm it. And that looks like a pretty good tightening of the anterior capsule, capsule labral structures. So the next bet is to go ahead and put the camera in the back. We're going to do that through this great cannula in just a minute. Middle glue humeral ligament, and behind that the subscap. subscapularis there. And so I just want to make sure slow down to the left. Gives us a little better perspective there. Pause. Okay, I think we're going to finish up here. We're going to be very careful in the early rehab period just to give this all a chance to heal. But other than that, I think I've been real happy with what we've been able to do. There's a good look down the front. So good luck to you now, okay? Bye-bye.